Hi everybody, Bobby from the Rabbitry Center and today we're going to talk about weaning rabbits when you separate the babies from mama rabbit. Uh, we're going to go through our litters today and do that so uh, stick with us. So one thing I've noticed over the years is that everybody has their own opinion of when the appropriate time is to wean your rabbits. And it really comes down to your goals. Everybody has their own production and you know you can wean your rabbits and run your production however you want but some folks will wean earlier in order to achieve more litters a year and the more litters you try to get a year of course you're going to burn your dough out that much faster so just be aware of that but you know rabbits will need at least four to five weeks at least to have a really strong immune system and that doesn't mean that you can't produce good rabbits around that time or even earlier with premium nutrition. It's just difficult. So, you know, a good rule of thumb is to just wean your rabbits to shoot for a goal right around six to seven weeks. At that point, the rabbits are done nursing. You know, you, you can pay attention to your rabbits. You can see that. You won't see them nursing anymore. And the milk starts to dry up right around four weeks. But that doesn't mean that if the kits wanted to nurse and they continued to nurse, mama would still produce milk. You know, it was a couple of videos ago we were talking about how uh, you can foster kits to a mama doe, even if she just weaned her kits, she'll start lactating again. So it's really supply and demand. That's how, that's how uh, lactation works with these does. But it's just important to not remove all the kits at once when she's uh, nursing regularly because what will happen is it could possibly irritate one of uh, the the nipples the one of the nipple regions one of the teats so just pay attention to that this is something that you may want to uh, come up with your own program where you're constantly doing or weaning the same way to avoid this so what's a safe bet how do we do it well we wean regularly around six to seven weeks we'll, we'll take most of the rabbits and just leave a couple with mama rabbit just in case, just to avoid any kind of irritation, to let everything dry up gradually. We're going to leave a couple rabbits with the mama rabbit for just a few days. Just to make sure that her body knows that it's everything starting to dry up and everything can start that cycle. Because we rebreed our does at four weeks. So when the kits are four weeks old, We'll remove mama, we'll breed her, we'll bring her back to her kits, we'll let her nurse her litter for a couple more weeks, and then we remove her. So after a couple days of those, you know, only a couple kits in the cage. And in most cases, we don't see any of these rabbits nursing, but it's just to make sure they're gonna dry up correctly. In a couple weeks, she'll have her, her next litter. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the kits and we're going to put most of the kits into the cage. So let's grab a couple. Uh, we've already grabbed a couple and put them in this cage. This was our biggest litter. We had a litter of 12. And this is our red rabbit or red broken rabbit. So you'll see red broken jeans. If I can get it to focus. And what I do, I used to, now you can take this time to wean them all. I'm looking at this one right now, and I see that this one is a girl. So I'm going to put her with her siblings. And what I do is I wean, and I come back in a couple days, and then I find out how many does and how many bucks. You can do it all at the same time. So when you remove these rabbits, you can check them and find out if they're male or female. You can get your list going for your reservations so you can start contacting people. Uh, or you can give it a couple days and come back because um, we're going to have a couple rabbits still with the mama rabbit like we talked about. So what we do is we, um, you know, we kind of mix it up. Sometimes we do it that way depending on what's going on. Uh, today we're actually just going to remove some of them. Um, get everybody spaced out only because we're going through a lot of water when you have these big litters and, and they get to be about six seven weeks um, You're gonna notice you're gonna be burning through a lot more water a lot more pellet and when you separate them like this It really makes that water go a little bit farther as well as your pellet and it just gives mama and the siblings a break Because you'll you'll see this look in mama rabbit's eye like 
I am so stressed, get me out of here. So um, she's really gonna be relieved. Don't think that she's gonna be stressed out or this is gonna make her sad at all. She's, you know, this is what rabbits do. They produce regularly and she's already thinking about her next litter. So she wants to be removed. Oh, this, this rabbit's weird. It doesn't really have that much color. Both eyes are colored though, both ears. I guess there is a little bit. For a second, I thought she looked like a Charlie. Okay. <clears throat> So we got, what do we got? Four broken rabbits, three. So I think we got seven rabbits in there right now. So they've got enough to hang out in there and they can play on that hide box. Let's give them some pellet and some water. I shouldn't get a bye. <laughs> look at mama she already seems happier sitting right in front of her fan look at how much they like these fans so now we have two rabbits we got two rabbits in here with mama so just in case she needs to dry up a little bit more which she probably does not but this is just a precaution after a couple days we'll remove her to her own cage so we got two in here, we got everybody moved out. This is gonna make it easier for everybody when it comes to the pellet and the, and the water. No one's gonna run out anymore. And that's what's important too about weaning them out, making sure everybody has portions. They got lots of pellet, lots of water in here. Everybody's good. I'm singing, I'm whistling Huey Lewis. Okay, now these, these blue rabbits are going all the way down to the end. Ooh, this one's blue with blue eyes. You know, one thing about our yard rabbit is that I love watching her and studying her and seeing what she's eating. And because rabbits are terrific at paying attention to their bodies. Animals have to pay attention to their body. They don't, you know, their intelligence doesn't work the same way we do. So they're gonna be able to react to what's helping or hurting their body. I'll use an identification on my phone and I'll go take a picture of what she's eating. And slowly you'll learn all the different plants or weeds uh, around your property. This has been a terrific experiment for me and it's, on, it's ongoing. It's an ongoing research project that you can use these rabbits to figure out or help you figure out the food that you have around your property. We have a lot, it's very woodsy around here. So in plus, you know, we, we try to grow more and more food for rabbits every year. We're currently working on our feed course and so that's just something. Uh, stay tuned for that, folks. So once Mama goes back into her cage, you're going to cut it back to the original third of a cup. Now, if it's in the winter time, I'll do a half a cup of pellet in the morning, and then in the evening, I'll do another half cup. If you're only feeding once a day, then I'll do a cup of pellet. And again, it's going to be right around 0.5 ounces for every pound of rabbit. So if you have a 10 pound rabbit, you're gonna be feeding five ounces of pellet a day. Now be sure to read your labeling. You may have some different food, but that's the general rule. So not all rabbits are gonna get the same amount. And when you have a litter of rabbits, you know, you'll feed them up to three cups of pellet a day, or you'll notice that there's pellet still left in the, the J feeder and the litter didn't eat all the pellet. Well then, you know, maybe use a little less. So you're gonna gauge this. So, but as far as mama goes, you want to cut her back. You don't want to keep free feeding her because you don't want her to be overweight. And she's going to be getting ready for her next litter in a couple of weeks. She's really going to enjoy her peace. And also, when you're moving the rabbits around, if you want to use a small tote like this, I just drilled holes in it for more air flow or air circulation. You know, sometimes these rabbits will jump out of your hands. You know, there's been times where I've had to go diving for rabbits and something like this is a terrific tool, especially when it comes to a big mama doe. You know, mama does are the biggest rabbits. They're, mama does are always gonna be bigger than bucks. And you know, you're, sometimes you're talking 12, even 13 pounds uh, for a medium sized New Zealand. So something like this works really well, moving rabbits and carrying rabbits from cage to cage or across the property. 
So it's imperative that you know rabbits sexually mature right around 14 weeks. So you should try to separate them no later than 12 weeks so you don't have any accidents. If you're limited on cage space, you can move the bucks out. Does can live together for a very long time. They're not going to have a problem uh, until they get bred and then they're going to want their own area to raise that litter. Some folks are having trouble selling rabbits and they may have these rabbits and they want to keep them in the same cage and, but if you're going well into three or four months, uh, you, could, you could have some accidents. So, and if you folks are having trouble, check out our course. We have a full course that will take you right through all the facets of running a rabbitry and you're going to be able to sell more rabbits and your products and you're going to even have more products to sell after you have that course. But not everybody can afford the full course. So if that's the case, we do have a mini course that will give you a portion of the lessons and you're definitely going to be able to figure out a way to sell more rabbits and products with that mini course. Uh, it's small but it packs a big punch so be sure to check that out if that interests you. But again, you can move bucks out and leave the does with mama and that'll buy you a little bit more time until you process these rabbits or they finally get sold. So, but thank you so much for watching. That's our weaning video. And if you want a little bit more information on weaning, we have a video I can put up in the corner that we launched a few years ago. Uh, but please, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll try to get back to everybody. Thank you again and we'll see you on the next video.